Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Okay, so this is a Dollar Tree haul and everything's $1.25, girl. Yes, everything $1.25. So I found some things. I found some things. Now I'm really excited because just a heads up, uh, my kids start their spring break right now and they don't come back until April the 1st. So they're going to be home and it's going to allow me an opportunity to do things here at home, but also get in here in my craft room and do some things, you know, so I don't have to be running around and doing this and doing that appointment here, appointment there. It's going to be nice. And I get to sleep in. What? Crazy. Crazy. I know. I know. I'm looking at my makeup. I tried today. <laughs> I tried, but I tried to do it real quick. Let's get into this haul. The first two things that you saw in the picture are these two new home decor items. And they are really pretty. Um, they are the seahorses. And they're a very nice, tall, substantial piece for $1.25. This is something that you can easily pay a whole lot more money for than $1.25. And it is a green briar. Yeah, it's a green briar item. So it's amazing to find something of this caliber there at the Dollar Tree. This is going to make a great addition if you're trying to update your look for your home for the summertime. You're going for that little beachy feel or even in your kitchen. You're just trying to do a little change for that summertime heat that's going to be knocking on our doors. This would be a cute way to do it and on a budget. Um, they are beautiful all the way around. Let me put one down so you can see the detail. They're just beautiful. I mean, $1.25, guys, stop. Seriously, stop. At the Dollar Tree right now. Insane. Okay, so these two are beauties. I was surprised when I found them. I was like, wait, what is that? Wait a minute. Because normally I don't try to do the whole summertime theme thing. I just don't. I haven't within the past few years. But I'm kind of feeling it now. It's like I think I need a change. And I'll probably introduce this into our bathroom. The master bathroom. Okay. Now, the other things that I found is a nice big, you know, hosh posh of things here. Um, I did find the matching towel. Yes, for those beautiful plates, these beautiful um, butterfly plates that I shared with you two hauls ago or three hauls now. I'll put it up here in the eye and sky. Go check it out after you're done here and look at those beautiful plates. They do have the matching little kitchenware, little kitchenware not kitchenware, but little um, microfiber towel, the kitchen mitt, and um, something else. But it's absolutely beautiful, so I bought that to go with the set. Because I already have my set in my um, glass holder. I do. And just a heads up, you guys, I will be sharing front mail on Saturday, tomorrow. So be on the lookout, because I went to the P.O. box and I picked up stuff today. So be on the lookout. Yay! Um, let's do foodie finds before we get into crafty goodness and beauty finds, okay? So let me do this with you. I did buy some of the fudge mint cookies. I did because they were all gone. So I got another pack. These are delicious. A lot of people recommend it, putting them in the freezer. I haven't tried that, but um, these are just delicious. And they never last long here in the house. I mean, never. <laughs> never, ever. Then I also picked up the oven bake cookies. Okay, things are like shifting and moving as I'm doing this. Oh my gosh. Things are going to fall. Ah! Okay. I bought the oven bake shortbread um, fudge strike cookies. These are delicious. And you guys, for $1.25, you can't beat that price. You can't touch a pack of cookies at any store, including Walmart, Target, you know, Shoppers, Giant, Safeway. Um, wherever you go uh, for $1.25. You just can't. These are delicious. They're really good and we like them. The next things I picked up um, were these. Uh, since it is spring break, we are going to bake together. So I got a pack of the sugar cookies by Betty Crocker. This is supposed to make 12 cookies, two inch cookies. So it's basically six cookies. Cause we're going to make them more than two inches. And the same thing here makes 12 12 two inch cookies so it's six and six so we'll just make them together and um, all you need is a half a stick of butter or a quarter cup of butter or margarine 
um, and one tablespoon of water. So the sugar cookies and the chocolate chip. So we'll do those while they're here at home. Yes. And then I did pick up some more of the Samaya plantain chips. These are delicious. I really like them. But just so you know, you can find the Samaya chips as well at Burlington. Um, also, I believe at TJ Maxx on occasion, their garlic ones, you will just, if you like garlic and you see the garlic Samaya um, plantain chips, get them. You will thank yourself later and you will be hunting them down for the rest of your life. Okay. They're delicious. But these particular ones are just the Pacific sea salt and we all enjoy these. So I picked up two of those. Samaya brand is really good. Very tasty. Very tasty. Then I did find some new drink mixes. So we'd never had the Starburst Duo there. These are a two flavor in one stick. So you get strawberry watermelon and there are six sticks in here. Strawberry watermelon. Never seen that there before. And I never saw the Sonic Cherry Limeade. Um, this is zero drink sugar mix. Uh, six sticks. So I got one of the Starbursts, two of the Limeade because I like Sonic's Limeades. I got two of these that we can add to our waters. Then there was a third that caught my attention. A third but it's by Pure Kick. And this one is um, low sodium, zero sugar, and it has a Sonic Limeade, but under Pure Kick. Now this Pure Kick gives you vitamins and electrolytes. Okay, so vitamins and electrolytes, Sonic Limeade, and then the Som Sonic Cherry Limeade, and then the watermelon strawberry in the Starburst. New drink mixes. We drink a lot of water here. And so it's nice when we can find new sticks to try. We drink a lot of water. Okay, now let's go into the sock department. I only found one pair of interesting socks, and it was this one. <laughs> so I picked up one, one pair. These will be for the twins. Uh, these are the new legacy, and you got Taz, and uh, you got the one that says Slam Dunk, baby. And they're nice and long, okay? So this will fit the twins just fine no problems or issues here. So there you go. They're Space Jam. They have those available. I just picked up one pair. I thought they'd like them. Then in the beauty department, let's go on to beauty. I was able to find again the Guru Nanda. Um, and if you missed, is this one better? This one's better. I got two of them. They're for my husband. Uh, these are eight doses, okay, of liquid melatonin. And these work fantastic. Uh, this is a berry flavor and my husband is a big guy. He's like six, two, six, three, and he's a big dude. Okay. He wears size 14 shoe and big old hands. And so to get him to find something that works for him is fantastic for a dollar 25. And he really liked this product. So he used all his up that I bought previously. Happy to see they brought him back. So I bought two more for him. It's a, the Guru Nanda melatonin sleep liquid and it's eight doses okay just in that bottle eight doses so just a heads up and apparently it's a good price for it it costs a lot more in the stores if you can find them okay just a heads up still like i feel like we're in a beauty department um i found the dandruff shampoo i haven't seen a dandruff shampoo there in a long time and they could be quite pricey in the stores so they have this one and it's a 12 fluid ounce and it does have the uh i don't know how to say that right there hopefully you guys can see that it's the zinc the, i don't know how to say the first thing um 0.3 percent and that's what you want so this one is going to be a good one to have here at the house dollar 25 can't beat that then <laughs> I came across the Halu. Yes, I did. The Halu um, Jeju Tangerine Face Mask. I bought two more because the one I just shared with you, I used it and my face really liked it. My face was just glowy. It felt wonderful after I used it. And the face mask looks like a piece of citrus. So this is what it looks like. You really look like a big old 
piece of orange when you put it on, which makes it extra fun. It's not just like your plain um, white sheet mask. It actually has the design on here all over it. So it's fun. It was very hydrating. My face felt wonderful afterwards and I found two more. So I got the two that I was able to find. Very happy. Really like that face mask. Then I found these by Global Beauty. So let's go through these. I found the Global Beauty Violet and Bergamot Hydrating Sheet Mask. I've already started using these wipes, the Violet and Bergamot. Lovely. They smell lovely and they're doing great with taking off my cosmetics and what have you. They're working out great. So if you see the um, Global Beauty uh, wipes that I just shared, I think in my last haul, definitely pick them up. They have a great smell, nice, um, nice textured cloths that aren't, they're not going to rip while you're cleaning off your face. They have a good thickness to them. This one is a sunflower and honey brightening sheet mask. And Global Beauty is a name brand. It is not Dollar Tree Greenbrier brand. And um, you can usually find Global Beauty in different stores. The last one is a carnation and vanilla firming sheet mask. So I'm looking forward to trying all of these. Maybe I'll try, maybe I'll try one tonight. Maybe I'll try one of those tonight. Okay, but wait a minute. Did you know that Be Pure had these? Because I didn't know. So Be Pure has a hydrating foot mask. And this is a hyaluronic acid with avocado and niacinamide. I hope I said that right. My only concern is most of the time when I put these on, most of the time I wear a size 12 woman's shoe. I have some big old feet. I do. I can't get around it. It is what it is. Um, normally they fit me, but sometimes they're like too small. So I'm hoping that these will fit me. So once you get these on, you really have to just sit still and keep, keep still for that whole duration. You can't really walk around in them or you're like, you're going to kill yourself because you're going to slip and slide. Now it says here that, um, and I'm wondering if it looks like this because see how it looks like the flowers. I'm wondering if they look like their flowers. That would be really cool if they did. So it says you're supposed to wear them for, from 15 to 30 minutes. And it says here, um, make sure you cleanse your feet with warm water thoroughly, dry before using the foot mask. And then you, you know, take it out, place the foot into the mask and smooth it over your feet. Condition between 15 to 30 minutes. Remove the foot mask, toss the mask into the trash, do not flush, wipe off the remaining residue from your foot with a damp cloth. So I'll tell you, when I decide to do this one, I'll let you know if it looks like a floral. Oh, it might be. It just might be. Okay, wait a minute. Then I found a Be Pure Hydrating Hand and Nail Glove. I only bought one of each because I don't know how well they're going to work. Um, I do have uh, some hand masks from a specialty nail place that I got on sale for like uh, 99 cents or a dollar each. And they normally go for like four bucks. Yeah, I, and I love them. But when I saw this, I was like, ooh, something different. Um, this is, uh, again, hyaluronic acid and avocado and uh, niacinamide, if I said it right. Same thing. It looks like it might be a floral design here. It might be. Who knows? So there you go. And that's for your hands. Same, same premise. But this one says 15 to 20 minutes. But, I mean, you can leave it on for as long as you want, girl, you know signs you want <laughs> it's your product and some of those like for your hands sometimes they're so juicy that you can put them back in here or inside of a ziploc bag inside of here and then you fold it over and you can use them two or three more times just a heads up so have a ziploc bag with you just in case you can reuse them two or three more times okay you know let's not be wasteful let's use these up the way that we can honey all right, now we're going to move into, do, 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 we're going to go into the crafting section. Super happy to see that they brought back the Jot Classic Scissors. And when I'm talking about the Jot Classic Scissors, I'm talking about the ones with the decorations on them. Yay! So they brought these back, you guys. Yes. And these are the ones that they have available. 
Okay. I absolutely adore these. I can never have enough of these. Never, ever, ever, ever love them. They make me happy when I use them. And let's go through the designs very quickly. So this one has the purple handle and then it has this really pretty purple design right here. Also has a little pink in the inside of that handle as well. So there you go. Really pretty. Then this one has the pink handle and it has this beautiful green floral design and they cut very well. Somebody asked me once and it has like an orange inside in the handle too. Somebody asked me, do they cut good Anna? Yes, they do. They're scissors. They're fabulous. And if you, and if you want, if you want to just like get a Sharpie and, you know, say fabric only, they will cut your fabric beautifully. I mean, beautifully. As long as you don't let them touch, you know, paper and everything else. That's why you would really have to like mark them and say fabric only. Yeah. So this one has this really beautiful teal design with the little plaid there. I love these scissors. And then this last one right here. Yes. So cute. I absolutely love it. I love those. They make me, they make me so happy. I, they bring me so much joy when you have cute things to cut and, you know, do your crafts with, it really makes a difference in the appearance of the items that you use. At least for me, they do. So let's get into some more crafty goodness. A lot of you were sharing the crafter square gem canvas painting kits. Now these painting kits, I did a comparison for the size and actually the ones from before are a little bit bigger. They are just slightly, but the designs are different. So I did pick this one up. I already showed you guys. I did one from the Dollar Tree and I shared it with you and I really enjoyed it. And um, I definitely for $1.25 is well worth $1.25. So there you go. I got that one and then I got this one. So I got both of those. And for $1.25, guys, it's awesome. Um, six 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 point eighteen by six point eighteen. So the other ones were slightly bigger, but these designs I feel are a little bit more on the higher end part scale. The other ones were a little bit more um, amateurish, you could say, but it's a great way to dip your feet into diamond painting on a budget honestly on a budget. Okay. Then I found this. They don't hardly ever bring these in anymore. At least not in my stores. This is the adhesive pearl wrap, but this is in the silver. So I was really happy to see they finally brought in the silver. I just bought one. Told myself if I go back to have more, I will buy another one. Um, but normally you don't find these anymore. They're just kind of hard to find. Either, I don't know, folks picking them up because they're so great to use for different types of projects. So there you go. That's going to be for one of my projects. And then I did find some really beautiful, new, super silky, soft um, fabrics. Now they come in different colors, but these are the only colors that I picked up. Um that I knew that I wanted to work with. So I got this really soft blue, very like deep teal color, this beautiful eggplant color here. And as you can tell, they're just so pretty. You can actually use these for carpet in this gray in a dollhouse room, a room box, a scene that you're creating for $1.25. They're very friendly for that because they're nice and thin and then they look like a carpet. I mean, perfect for that. So this gray, I'm going to use for that purpose. I might even use it for this particular row. I just might. Um, but these two are going to be for um, notebook projects and what have you. So there you go. And this fabric will be uh, pliable enough and friendly enough. If you wanted to use it for bedding, for bedding for a dollhouse, it would work great for that too. And it had some other really pretty colors as well. But I just wanted to dip my toe with these. And then I picked up this really gorgeous plaid. They had this one there. This one is a little bit more grueso. Um, so in English, it's a little bit more stiffer, a little bit more stiff. Um, grueso is a little bit more harder to work with, uh, thicker too. But I wanted to use this for a notebook. So it should be okay. It should be okay. It'll be all right. I think it's going to be fine. And then the last two items that I bought was this block. 
because we needed some blacks. I just bought one because I, I bought these before and, you know, the kids always fight over them. And then they kind of like, you know, get lost. So I bought one. I wanted to keep it here. And then I got this folding knife. So this is going to go in my purse, this folding knife. Because I already have um, like, you know, pepper spray and I have a taser. I do in my purse. I carry a taser. I have pepper spray and now I want to have a knife. Um, so, and then I have something else in my car as well. So I have like a lot of different bases covered and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's what I like. I like to have insurance <laughs> for protection because there's a lot of people out here that are just um, not right in the head. They're not. And you'd be amazed at how many people you come across that are just kind of cuckoo. So there you go. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know I certainly did. And I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you come back because I have a lot more to share with you, including Shein. Don't forget about that friend mail for Saturday. See you then.